All right. Need I say more? Or need I say more? What else do I have to say? I have nothing really to say, but yeah, that's all I got. <laughs>
you know, for me, I could have had a Bao Yang or Lacazette. I, I would have been fine in either. And one would have, you know, presented um, one type of style and the other different. You know, Bao Yang's in there. That means we're attacking, right? So Lacazette's in there. That means we're going to probably control the ball a little bit more. So I, you know, I said, okay, let's see what we got here. Um, so it was kind of a combination based on the lineup with Jaka and uh, Milsruf Rowe there because uh, I always felt like, you know, when you have them out there, that's more, we're going to control the ball a little bit more. Uh, that's kind of my feeling anyways of what's going to happen. And, um, you know, I could say, boy, was I kind of wrong on this one. I mean, I saw a lot of what I wanted to see and not, not with some of the players I was expecting to be out there. Um, so, you know, we'll get into the game and kind of go back and forth around throughout the game and kind of tell you what I, the way I was feeling. But game starts out, and um, I, we actually we looked really good. We looked, I believe, for that first 10 minutes, uh, we were attacking. Um, it was good to see. Uh, start. It's kind of how we started a lot of our games with a, a strong attack. And uh, just weren't getting any, you know, weren't able to finish anything for that first 10 minutes. And I was like, well, hopefully, you know, we can hold on to that feeling and continue it. Um, we looked really good. I mean, it's, it was, for me, it was a lot of talking about Partey for part of it. A lot of t talking about Tamiyasu, because if you think about it, Tamiyasu is going to have to go up against Son. And for that, you know, that first half, it, uh, I'm going to say that we um, played really well and it was good to see. Um, we, we can, I think, to some degree, we control the, the game. Uh, we gave, you know, they got a lot, they got more possession than us, but I don't think that really mattered in this match in the sense that when they got it, they they had to hold on to it a lot longer than us, or a lot longer than they probably wanted to just because they weren't able to see through. They can't, you know, we kind of stopped them every time they tried to, try to attack us, and that was uh, hopefully by design. You know, I don't think it was lucky, but I think it was definitely by design. That back four or back five, as I call it, looks really good. And uh, they were able to kind of answer any questions that uh, you know, Tottenham posed to us. Um, and most of those answers were, no, not over here, not today, no way. Um, basically try the other side and, you know, same thing, same questions were answered there. Just not going to happen. All right, so, you know, we'll get, you know, so that's kind of how the first whole half went and I was in, I enjoyed it I enjoyed it and I'll kind of go through the goals around the 12 minute mark um, uh, Saka gets the ball outside on the on the on the right wing and um, does it like a step over and uh, I'm sorry if I don't have all of the, the connections between that I can't remember who gave him that ball but I can I must say that Partey made a lot of balls that you know were able to attack from Emil Sufro and or Erdogan all kind of contributed to this attack and uh, it was good to see but in this case it was Saka getting the ball up top uh, up on the right hand side uh, he takes the ball into the box does a step over and basically attacks the you know the back line there and then is able to put a cross in and uh, Milsworth Rose coming from the uh, far side in and the defense just didn't know where he was he stepped in between them got his foot on the, cr the cross coming in from part from from party from Saka and he puts it in the far corner Lloris had no answer for that just by the time he could see what was going on it was too late the shot was uh, gone and uh, Arsenal's up one nil great and I I want to say Emil Smith Rowe might have started that, but you know we had such uh, we had a lot of this going on where somebody started the attack and then we we continued up the pitch, uh, but that's how the first goal went. Uh, we're up one nil, great. Game continues on. We're doing well, and now it's uh, you know somebody else's turn. It's a it's actually Aubameyang's turn to get a goal. And uh, the way that that one started, and there's probably a lot of reviews on that one you'll see on Twitter or on your social networks. Basically, I think uh, Ramsdale makes a pass out to Xhaka. It, it was a little scary, that pass, because it was uh, before it was, it was behind uh, Xhaka. He makes a play for it. He's able to knock um, Hoiberg, I think, off the, off the ball and get his foot on it and then pass it up to... Um, to, I can't remember who was tyranny, but it ends up getting to Mills Rufro, who then makes uh, gets the ball out to to Partey. Partey sees uh, Mills Rufro making a run down the side, and it puts a foot on it and passes it forward to him. 
Uh, Milsifro gets on the end of the pass and continues up the field. Uh, Bamiang, meanwhile, is uh, spins and then takes off for the box. So he needs to get into the box. He knows that uh, that ball should be coming if he gets there. And guess what? It, it got there. Uh, he um, is able to continue up the field, Bamiang, and... Uh, Mil Sufro sees him and makes the pass back to him. And before you know it, we're up 2-0 as Aubameyang puts the ball in the far corner on the right side. Once again, Lloris doesn't have any time to react to it. And we are looking good. Now we're up 2-0. Oof. So at this point, we're, you know, I, I'm happy. And it's weird. I should be, like, making doing flips. But I'm not. I'm just reserved. Um, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen something like this. So I was um, happy to see it and uh, just smiling on the way a lot on the inside, as to say that. Probably not much on my face, but definitely on the inside, it was, uh, I was happy to see it. Uh, so then after that, uh, we're looking good. We're like, we're up 2-0. Well, guess what? You know, I predicted before the game, this is going to be like a 3-1 game for us. We expected Harry Kane to get a score just because that's what he does. Um, but so we're up 2. Why not? We need more, right? Why not? Why not go for more? We need to go for more. Guess what? We need to go for more. You know, it's kind of the, the commentary that we had. Um, so next up, whose turn is it? It's Saka. If I were, uh, this one, I think it's, uh, I want to say Partey once again. It makes a long pass, but Partey made a couple of long passes. We'll get into that as well. But I want to say this might have been Partey, but it could have been Mosul Ferro or Erdogan. I just, there, you know, I, you know, I, I'm doing this off the cuff, so I don't have all my notes with me, but I, and also I haven't seen the game again and seen the review, but long pass is made out to uh, Saka. Um, I believe it's coming from the left side, so that most likely would be a Millsroof row if it was. Um, probably Partey, because he did make those as well, but needless to say, uh, Saka uh, gets the ball um, all by himself out there on the right-hand side. He takes the ball up the field, and I'm sitting there saying to myself, Saka, just attack, continue to attack, don't hold up, don't wait for anybody, just attack the goal, you've got them right where you want them, and it looked like he just pulled up, just, you know, slowed down just enough, and uh, somebody slides in, it's Harry Kane slides in, he ha he's able to get a foot on the ball, uh, but he isn't ha able to get it away from Saka, and ends up falling to Saka, he's able to, um, you know, take a look as to the, what's going on, and he takes it's lost it to the far left corner. Lars Luis has no chance. Now we're up three 0 Wow, no assist for that one, but uh, Saka did really well on that. So if you you think at this point we're up three 0 uh, Emil Schroffero has got a goal and a, an assist. Saka's got an an assist and a goal. Aubameyang has scored. We're looking really good. Um, we're looking really good. Let's continue this for the for the rest of the half. Uh, I think we did, but I, you know, I think at some point, uh, you know, this is uh, Tottenham. They're not just gonna give up, you know, and they didn't. Uh, and so, you know, the game continues. Uh, that the half kind of continues, and you know, they're making an attack and kind of getting concerned here that look they might get something here because now they're, you know, they're down three now. They have nothing else to lose. Why not? Why not just go out there and try to get something back from this game? And they tried, uh, but they weren't able to to get through. In that, in that first half and uh, you know a lot of that has to do with uh, the way our defense and the way our attacking was it just did not give them the opportunities to take advantage of any any gaps that we had and uh, going to the half three up that's great that's great it's perfect it's what you want uh, come out in the second half and now what are you thinking you're thinking yeah you know what let's try to um, get that fourth goal uh, get that fourth goal we probably can pretty much hold on to this you know assume we got the three points here and then uh, get out of here basically uh, so we try we did try uh, it just did not fall for us I mean we had a, many opportunities I believe uh, one of them which it just you just wanted to see it work uh, I think Partey made a long pass to um, Aubameyang Aubameyang's touch is just a little too heavy and the ball falls to the defender uh, and it was basically between, um, you know, if he was able to get the ball on either side of that defender, he probably would have been him and the goalkeeper. And I like those chances. I like those chances. Um, you know, talking about, you know. So that's how that went. Uh, as far as this, if we talk about, you know, scoring opportunities and a lot, not, 
and whatnot. Um, that was probably one of the, the good ones that we had that did not fall through. Uh, we still, we you know, it looked like we kind of slowed down a little bit. I, I think we were pressing a lot more in the first half, and I kind of felt like we were cycling through pressing and not pressing second half. If you think about it a little bit more, we probably did not press as much. We've got a 3-0 lead. Why, why are we going to stretch ourselves then? But also I think that kind of gets us, that kind of uh, keeps us, doesn't keep us on our toes and uh, we kind of lose a little bit of concentration and um, we're not as up for the game as we should be. It's, I feel when we kind of switch tactics and kind of go into a little bit of a slow down, a less of an attack kind of approach, uh, pressing those types of things. Uh, that, the second half was a little testy, uh, a lot of opportunities to score, you know, the worst for me in any ways were the ones that were for Tottenham, of course, because that meant they got closer and closer to us. Um, they kind of, they were knocking us around a little bit. Uh, Saka got knocked down at one point, uh, um, you know, he kind of felt like he, he made us, he actually took a, a long pass, I think, at one point, it looked like he might have pulled something. Um, and then uh, Milsuf Rowe, you know, similarly got knocked down, looked a little iffy there. And uh, Jacques at some point actually got knocked down. It looked like he might have been a little bit, uh, a little bit of a, he might have had a little bit of discomfort there. And so it's like, you know, as, as this game is getting on and getting into like the 60th minute, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to start, uh, at least for me, I thought it was a good time to probably move on from, the, you know, let some players rest and bring in some fresh legs. Um, and, you know, based on, like I said, those players that kind of got knocks. And uh, I think also the fact that uh, Jacques had a, a yellow already, I kind of felt like, you know what, let's try to get out of here. Let's try to get out of this uh, this half without, um, you know, get out, get to win the second half or you got to get out of here unscathed. And uh, they you know, weren't able to do that, but uh, they soon were able to um, end up getting a goal. And before we started, before we made any of our subs, uh, the ball, I think the ball was a little bit, spending a little bit too much time in our defensive third, like for my likings anyways. And, you know, when that happens, bad things happen. Uh, ball gets turned over. I, uh, at one point, Jacques is on the ground, uh, not feeling so good. Uh, look, you know, I couldn't see why he went down, but he went down. And that kind of, I think that just kind of, you know, broke up the defense and we kind of lost form. And uh, and Son ends up with the ball, and he's able to you know take the take the ball and put it away, and they're up one nil. Um, needless to say, Jaka didn't get back up immediately. Uh, you look at the replay, and um, a player basically kind of lands on the back of his leg, and uh, hurt it, you know hurt him pretty well bad, and he just you know he never got up. I mean it's, I mean I don't you know I know you know if it was a you know, it was the football gods getting back at him because it was a, not necessarily a similar play, but earlier in the game when he got his yellow, he seemed to kind of jump in you know, to one of the uh, offensive players and uh, kind of land on and land on him. And it just was, you know, one of those things you're like, no, shocker, no, we don't need that, we don't need that. Um, and this time it happened to him, and you know, he got the worst of it, and that's uh, disappointing because he actually had a really good game, you know, and you know, and I think everybody expected that. Especially the fact that he just had a red, and typically he comes back from, comes back from a, a red card and plays really well, and he did today. Uh, the, the the eleven we had today, they all contributed. Um, everybody had a good game. Everybody had some oops, yips, and but uh, we ended up getting what we wanted out of this match. So it was a good, good, good thing there. Um, so then after that. Then we started putting in our subs, putting our subs in the 80th minute. I think that's about 10 minutes too late based on the way the game was going and the way that second half kind of started. You know, at some point they were going to get there as if we kept going. Um, we put our subs in, but, you know, they still got opportunities. Um, I think uh, Kane had an opportunity to score and uh, just missed the goal uh, wide on the left. Lucas Mora, he um, was able to put a shot. He got to try to get a shot uh, over... Uh, Ramsdale and Ramsdale was able to get a, a, f a finger on it uh, or a hand on it basically and tipped it up and it hit the crossbar and we were able to clear the ball. Those are some touchy touchy moments and you're thinking ah, can we get out of here and you're like thinking it would have been nice to have gotten that fourth goal the way things are going but at some point they were gonna get theirs in terms of an attack or and put some put their you know their mark on the game. Uh, otherwise you know 
that's how it ended that way. You know, 3-1, I'll take it. Uh, you know, we'll get into some of the players and uh, go from there. But all in all, a really good game. All around, all 11 players did good reporting our subs. I mean, as somebody said, I was listening to somebody, I think, uh, you know, all of our new acquisitions all played. Right, we started with Ramsdale, Tomiyasu, and White, and uh, Lakanga, uh, Sambi, as he likes to be called, and Tavares all got in. Imagine that. So we, we bring in five players, and they all play in one of our biggest games. Uh, that's what you want to be able to do, and we did that today. Uh, well, great. What a great way. Um, so definitely was happy to see that. So, you know, 3-1 three, three you know, to Arsenal. Great, great to see. All right, so let's get into it. Let's talk about the players, and um, I'll just talk about, you know, I guess we'll start with my five. Why not? We'll start with them, right? Let's start with them. So here we go. There's our my five, and if I, you know, if I was looking at this game, I probably would have chosen uh, Demi, definitely Tomiyasu, right? We, he was going to go go against Son, and uh, that was going to be a little bit of a big, 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 big test for him. I mean, I probably would have also um, chosen Ramsdale because uh, with that back four, I kind of wanted to see how they all would work. And then essentially by bringing those two players in, you're probably, probably looking at the back four as in general just to see how they would play. Uh, but I th probably would have picked Ramsdale. But, uh, you know, I didn't get the, didn't choose this beforehand. Partey coming in, wanted to see how he would do. Um, yeah, Bamiang definitely would be one I would have chosen as well to see how he does. And Jaka basically also. I would have liked to see how they do, you know, how he how he does coming back in after uh, a, lo a long absence. But this is kind of a post game my five. So as you can see up there, um, we've got the five players that I chose to talk about, and we'll go through them. No, I would say no particular order, but probably at the first half, this is kind of who I would have um, been looking at in terms of the, the top players that we had in that first half. Um, so first thing we'll talk about is uh, 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 Tomiyasu. What a game! I say, what a game for him. Um, he made, uh, he made it. Uh, he shut down basically anything that uh, Tottenham was trying to do on that left, on that right, on I guess on their left side, as they came up against him, and basically had an answer for every uh, threat that uh, they brought. It was great to see. He looked good, and we'll take it. All right. So uh, Tomiyasu, really good game. I liked it. You know, I a lot of it was on the defensive side, but I, you know. He did gradually get into the game, and he did eventually, you know, start moving the ball up the field, you know. But his defense stood out tremendously in this game, and we needed it. Uh, one of their, you know, their best player, if not their biggest threat, is uh, Son, and he didn't have much of an answer. He, he did score, but I, like I said, I think that had nothing to do really with Tommy Yasu. That was just kind of a, uh, just the worst thing that could happen at that particular point in time. Jocker going down, and it basically just threw the, the balance of the defense off and they ended up getting a man free and it was uh, Son which is uh, disappointing but that's kind of what happened there so that's Tommy Asu I kind of after the first half I had him as my man of the match the way the game was going and the way that Tottenham was getting nothing 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 all right so quick discussion on him next up we'll talk about everybody's everybody's favorite player you know <laughs> Saka uh, he, you know, I think what uh, the last match that he got to come in at the end, he kind of helped, um, helped us. You know, at least when he came on, the game kind of changed, the energy changed, and we scored those two goals late in the Wimbledon game. Uh, today he starts, and from, I think from the word go, basically he was on, uh, he was on, he was on one as they say. He was, uh, he was feeling it. Uh, the energy levels were high. He was putting, he put a lot of pressure on them when he got the ball. Uh, I mean, that's how he was able to get the first assist, you know, attacking off of that right-hand side and uh, been able to put a cross in. It was great. It was great to see. Uh, we've seen that, you know, we've seen Pepe in that same situation. It doesn't look the same. I think they're, they're different players for sure, but it just did not look like that. And that's what we wanted to see as well. Either you're going to, you know, take a shot at the goal or you're going to put a cross in to one of your teammates. And Saka did that uh, to, to get things going. But he was... He was a threat all at any time he got the ball. Um, you know, when the ball would swing back and forth, he would get the ball with space. He took off and he was gone. Uh, that's what happened on the second goal. He had lots of space. 
so much space so that I think it took, you know, he had to go, you know, whatever, a sixth of the field on that one side, uh, you know, a third of the one side of the field all by himself. And he's able to get into the box and, you know, the awareness that is, you know, like, damn it, I missed this, I lost this ball, but I'm getting it back and I get an opportunity and he just takes the shot. Uh, it was great. You know, like I said, I would have liked to see him take that shot sooner, but, you know, the fact that he was able to pounce on the, the mistake, or sorry, the, the, I guess it wasn't necessarily a poor clearance, but just a clearance that just did not get out of the box. Uh, he was, he was able, to able, able to jump on it and put it away. It was great. It was great. So, Saka, really good game. Enjoyed that. All right. And so next up, we've got uh, Erdogor, uh, Erdogor. He had... Uh, to me, it was, it was um, you know, this is kind of, I'm going to say probably the same thing about an Osu Pro. I thought I would be able to tell the difference, at least watching him on TV. Uh, I just couldn't, and I had to just kind of try tr start trying to remember what side of the field they were on, you know, when, when, when the ball was, where the ball was coming from. And uh, as much as, you know, Edgar was, you know, playing in the middle, it, it just, the two of them seemed to, when we were in the attack anyway, seemed to be kind of sitting in, uh, I would say, kind of more of a, you know, an eight position, uh, and kind of both sitting there in front of uh, Partey, it seemed, as we went into the attack, because that seems to be where they were both times, just kind of moving around in there. And uh, between the two of them, uh, you know, Erdogan especially, I think we were able to control that middle and uh, put an attack together pretty much all the time. And it didn't matter if we went through the left or the right side, it just it just worked. Um, many have given Erdogan the man of the match, keeping that middle going as once he got the ball. But and it was so tough, I think, to to, to pick a man of the match until you, unless you go back and review that game again and look at it probably a little, a little bit more detail. Maybe I'll do that and talk about it. But yeah, it was it was something. Uh, you know that the middle when we had the ball was great. I don't think we didn't control the ball as long as we probably wanted. But in this type of game, you probably at some point you need to kind of recharge and the only way to do that sometimes is not necessarily is to not necessarily give up the ball but just like slow down your press and give yourself a little bit of time to get ready for the next uh, attack that you're going to have and uh you know that was great to see and like i said when we got the ball Erdogan was was help you know was was great was great great on that one all right all right so next up we've got emil surferel really really um busy day for him uh, you know, Erdogan did not, um, uh, he didn't get an assist or a goal, but I think, um, along with him and like Partey, I think that they kept the middle of the pitch the way we wanted, and it was just great to see. Uh, you know, he gets the, uh, the goal, which, you know, because he's up, he's up, he's up the field, he's attacking, he sees the space in between, and Sack is able to get the ball right there, and he just slots it home nice, and one of the things that we talked about going into this this season was that we needed to see a lot more shooting from, you know, our youngsters, uh, the Saka and the Mills Rovero, and uh, we saw that. We saw that today. Really great. Uh, they both scored. They both had an assist. Got to be good. Got to be good. We all take it. Really good. Really good. That's. I'm gonna say that a lot. Uh, you know, and so that's what I'm gonna, That's all I gotta say about Mills Rovero, and uh, we will take that. Um, next up. Now, you know, last but not least, uh, Aubameyang, you know, coming into the game, I just wanted to see him kind of, you know, you see what you see right there. He's got a smile, right? And uh, smiling is good. <laughs> Aubameyang smiling is a perfect, you know, is what you want to see. This means the, um, he's enjoying his football, and I bet, and I bet he enjoyed his football today. Um, he looked really good out there outside of, you know, the scoring that he did. He put a lot of, he put a lot of, you know, his pressing a lot of pressure on their back line and I believe you know with him doing that kind of thing that kind of opens up the, the stuff you know, the space for the rest of the players and continually we saw the ball just going up and him always being up there ready to, to, to pounce on the ball uh, when it comes into the box and uh, it was great to see so we'll take that once again Abelian had a really good day and uh, it worked really 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 good for us all right so I usually do five what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a you know, a plus one or two. Let's see. So next, first up, uh, you got uh, Partey. Like I said, he um, he had a uh, a really good game. 
I mean, I was going to say about everybody, but I uh, had a really good game. Uh, controlling that middle. When the ball goes through his feet, I always say that everything kind of just calms down. Everything just kind of slows down. And uh, we're able to kind of, you're able to kind of check yourself, see how you're doing. Are we feeling all right about this? And then continue on, you know, when things get a little helter-skelter in there. Um, so that was Partey. And um, made it through the whole game. Did got knocked down a couple times. Uh, but he was able to finish the game out. And that was good to see. Uh, just... You know, it's that's what we want. We want to see him, you know, come into a game, perform, and then uh, get it out of get out of there about uh, about a, without an injury. And that was good to see. He did a good job, and we will take that. All right. Uh, so next up, next up, we've got uh, Jaka. Yeah, and uh, you know, I don't really, you know, usually I talk about I talk about him, and you know, a lot of times there's probably a lot of negatives coming out of my mouth because he that's what he puts on tape for me, anyways. Uh, today, not so much, not at all. He um, had a really good game for not playing for a while. Coming back into this game, he did really well. Um, it was, I would say, from, for so far of the game, he just he did he didn't I didn't say his name much. I was happy not to, but that was just because the ball was just flowing all around so much that I just there was nothing negative going on nothing bad happening everything positive everything you know even when we went back it seemed like there was a purpose behind it uh, but when it was time to go forward we did he had yeah once again he had a good game he had a good game um he you know he did some of the stuff that he always does that i always think he's going to do you know it seems like he's destined to get a yellow card no matter what and you know i think a lot of that is i don't know if it's because he gets bored and he doesn't know you know you know he gets bored, and that's why he ends up uh, doing those things. But he, you know, got a yellow, and it's probably avoidable. I don't think it was a um, a tough a, a play where he had to get in there and do that. But you know, that's what he does sometimes. Um, but and you know, got a yellow. I think got a. I think he got a yellow for that today. Uh, but all in all, good game from him. Like I said, you know, there was an injury. He got an injury, and it kind of looks similar to it. It could have been similar to what, you know, he kind of did when he kind of got his, uh, you know, got penalized or for, um, or, you know, created a foul in the game. Yeah, but the player essentially came in and ended up landing on his back leg um, and um, doesn't sound good for him. I think Arteta was saying that he's is concerned that there's some knee, I guess, knee damage, but we'll find out more. Uh, he kind of limped off the field, but uh, we'll, we'll see. You know, when the swelling kind of happens and all of that, then we'll they'll know more and see if there's a. I guess I assume an MRI will be required or ultrasound or X-ray or whatever it, they're gonna do. But yeah, it's uh wasn't good to have him come off. I I thought he needed to come off anyways, just because I thought in this match we probably needed to give um give you know give him a give him a break, and uh, we didn't do that. Um, but uh, yeah, he, he had to come off anyways, and uh, hopefully he um, can recover. I mean, like I said, he was really good out there, and you know, at worst case scenario, if he's if he has to come and he has to sub, then so be it. I think some of us would be comfortable with that anyways. Uh, it does give an opportunity now for Zombie to you know, you know, take take charge if he wants to, and if he's allowed to get that opportunity, he should take it and run with it, and secure that side of the field as his own sitting next to Partey, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes, um, but uh, really good, really good, I've kind of gone through all of the players now, and uh, you know, and the one thing, one more thing that I kind of want to get into, is, uh, and you know, last but not least, um, is, uh, let's see, and last but not least, is, um, yeah, the back that back five and uh it's, there's a lot to be said about them uh they looked really good out there and uh, as you can see i've kind of kind of rolled through all of them talked about some of them already but it all in all that back four looked really good a lot of communication going on you know partly that's from ramsdale ma communicating to his back line you saw that there's a lot of energy as you know they were they were all enjoying enjoying their football uh, ter tyranny bombing off the the left hand side, and then the then the, the remaining players rolling into like a back three there. It just was good. Ramsdale making some making stops, uh, you know, distributing the ball out from the back really good. 
it was it was good to see you've got I believe all everybody in the back four had multiple multiple clearances with their head you know the ball comes in and gets cleared out and I believe everybody had a chance maybe not tyranny so much but definitely white uh, Gabriel and and Tomiyasu all basically a lot of with the ball in the air their heads got there first and the ball was cleared out it was good to see so hopefully this is that back five that we're gonna have for the rest of the match we want to see more of that you know Partey's healthy he plays uh, his partner fight going for it is Sambi and the, the front four uh, probably right now I think the spots that are gonna be set are you know, Erdogan and Saka what happens after that we're gonna see Aubameyang played well and if he if we can get this Aubameyang in you know the rest of our games every time he goes out there I'll take it maybe not 90 minutes but uh, we'll take what we saw today um, really good we want some more of that from him um, but you know kind of just going through the, you know the whole team but like I said that back four is what we want to see we want to see more of that going forward um, I think that's it I've done I've gone done a lot of talking here hope you enjoyed it once again this is uh, what I saw in my five combo show uh, yeah it's been a big, big day right it's been a really big day um, yeah, Arsenal had a, had a had a good one got the win 3-1 we jumped to 10th in the in the table we are now sitting above uh, the, the Spurs uh, they're gonna have to look up at us at least for one week and uh, we need to continue this momentum next week we've got Brighton uh, White, White's old team he's gonna have an opportunity to uh, show them what, what he's up to these days uh, another win for us hopefully uh, I think it's an away game so got our away game since we were you know I'm not saying we're in form but this is kind of this is basically who we are and uh, we're just gonna have to grow with this uh, Brighton's been playing really well. If I, rec I believe they're they're having a really good season and they've um they've looked really good. And uh, let me take a look at the um the the um the table here and see how they're doing. Uh, let's see. So as far as Brighton, they're sitting in six right now. They are you know three points ahead of us. Uh, goal difference is um sitting at they've got a three they're at plus three. And uh, we are sitting at right now negative five. So, you know, we still got a ways to go. We're going to catch them on goal difference. But head to head, you know, it'd be nice to get in there and get the win. That'll move us up the table some. You know, hopefully, uh, you know, a couple spots. But we've still got a long season ahead of us. So there's no, no problem there. So that's going to be Brighton next week. Uh, we'll probably hear a little bit more about Jaka, how he's doing. Um, how long he might be out for you know hopefully it's nothing serious but we'll find out um, so hopefully speedy recovery for Jaka um, and we'll see how it goes all right so next up what do we say here thank you for uh, for, for, for uh, you know watching the show hope you enjoyed it we'll talk again next time you know check the, the Twitter don't waste the tweets uh, YouTube uh, don't uh, DWTT Arsenal will bring you back the channel if you want to subscribe like and comment and I'll get back to you hope you enjoyed it we will talk soon we will talk later uh, thank you very much and with that what am I gonna say I'm gonna say uh, life is a journey don't waste the trip enjoy the ride all right thank you